coochie, bitch. Got your asshole ripped open and the only thing you it inspired was loyalty? They ripped your ass open. Gene didn't say it. He said, check the records at the hospital. I'm saying it. You got your ass ripped open. Then you take Justin Bieber from Lily White, Canada and take him to the flavor of golf, the kitty edition. Get his ripped open. Now everything's coming out and the first thing you do is run the Bali with another kitty right who works with the man, L.A. Reed, that sent you to the Diddy flavor freak off. Now you got Justin Bieber breaking up relationships and shit. He suck Odell Beckham dick the club and the next thing you know, he don't even want Kim no more. Get ready, because what you thought was predictable is about to take a wild turn. The plot thickens, the suspense rises, and nothing is as it seems anymore. Just when you think you figured it out, bam, everything changes. This isn't your usual story. It's about to get a whole lot more intense. So stay with me, because the next move is going to flip the script completely. Expect the unexpected, because what's coming is going to blow your mind. Hold on, because the real action is just getting started. Uh, to the raid real quick with Diddy. Mm -hmm. um, his sons were there, and he was not there at the houses. Um, yeah. And he was, that was quiet. the worst part of that. Uh, to see his sons being How hacked. How do you force your kids to do your perp walk? That was the that was the worst part, and all I could think about was Kim and Misa. Mm. The girls. Just her son. He, he left their son to be walked out backwards on camera for the world to see. Thank God Kimura got the girls. Misa's son, Misa and Wolf's son, Man. and Quincy's missing. Quincy's missing. Oh. And lastly, after he was questioned by the feds, after I wouldn't be surprised if he was in witness protection right now, which means his father ain't never gonna see him. Have we seen the last, or is this just the beginning of that saga? It's just getting started. Oof. Which is why I think people are so uncomfortable about me being in this position right now because of my press pass. And because I'm gonna be in the courtroom for the Keefe D trial. If we get to the bottom of Tupac's When that is finally revealed, 15 other will be revealed with it. And you will find that they were all committed by the same two people, father and son. Were you surprised by KPD's arrest for Tupac? No. I'm just surprised that he hasn't given it up yet. I'm surprised that he hasn't gone to the feds yet because he just got stabbed in jail. Yes, he did. He's been beaten three times. And I'm going to say it for a fact, I know you the one pulling the strings. Reggie Wright Jr. Stop putting your dirty work on other people. You know exactly what the you are. And so help me God, if you don't keep my man, my chum mm. With um, the last time you were on the couch, you had mentioned, and it's crazy that you say these things. You talk about Bad Boy. You yeah. speak on Heavy D. You speak on Albie Shore. Yeah. And you say, like, look who's standing. And now Albie Shore is now, he's being cryptic. Not too cryptic, but he's now. He's very cryptic. He's very cryptic. But, but he's, speaking he's speaking louder than he's ever spoken before. Ever. And the reason why he's cryptic is for the sake of his son. Imagine having an enemy 
that has a position of influence in your child's life. You've been waiting for this and trust me, it's bigger than anything you could have imagined. The truth is about to come out and it's going to change everything you thought you knew. This isn't just any reveal, it's a game changer. The kind that will have you questioning everything. So get ready because this is the moment where everything shifts. The secrets are out and the reality, it's going to be shocking. That person sends you notes and messages every now and then. If you don't do this, if you don't do that, that boy is. Allegedly. Imagine that. Imagine that your baby mama is telling you that if you don't do what he wants you to do, he's going to be a child. And you know he's capable of it. Allegedly. Story in the Bible. Two women had two babies. Mm -hmm. One woman went to sleep, rolled over on her baby. baby. The other woman's baby was just fine. The woman whose baby, she got up, she went and stole the baby from her, her roommate. Then they fought over who the mother was. They went before the king, King Solomon. He heard both sides of the story and said, give me a knife. Give me a sword. He got the sword and he was like, I'm going to cut the baby in half and each of you can have a piece and then we'll be done with it. It was the real mother that said, don't harm that baby. She can have him. Why is nobody willing to accept as monstrous as people are finding out that Diddy is now that he wouldn't be willing to split Quincy in half. Because he would. Yeah, he said some years ago, like during a TV show, that he would like harm his own mother to get what he wanted or some, something along those lines. So. Well, I don't blame him for wanting to harm that. She's his victimizer and his pimp. She is first pimp. Oh. Okay. okay. Uh. It, you know, your Bible story, I have to just sidetrack real quick and ask you this question yeah. uh, or get your thoughts on it. <laughs> uh, there's a man who uh, recently married conjoined twins mm. and uh, he's only marrying one of them while the other is attached uh, by the hip and they both share the mm. same bottom parts. Mm. Um, is there anything that you feel wrong with that freaky or indifferent? I mean, question is, what's wrong with the b down with it? <laughs> it does raise questions. Like you forcing your sister to get raped so you can it, get off. It, well, the sister says she has to put on headphones to kind of zone out. Yeah, but out. she's still feeling it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is still happening. You forcing your sister to get raped. She don't want that <laughs> You want that <laughs> That's what I hear. As a selfish bitch. So, so, so <laughs> right. She's sitting over there with her headphones on. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only in love with the right side of you. The left side. I don't know who that bitch she can get this to. Like, that's how this shit sounds. Crazy. crazy. Yeah. I don't know if my mom and mom sounded crazy. No, you're right. You're you making some points. Valid points. Everybody selfish except for the bitch with the headphones. The thing that's tripping me out is why don't you grab like are you in control of any part of the body? Like you need to take a free head and start beating the out of them every time they get to. I bet you he don't want it no more then. Like give you a little skillet, and as soon as they get the fuck, hey, hey, info, bitch, get a pair. Like I don't. Forget it. La 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 la. Uh, we hope she finds a man herself. We hope. I can't. 
<laughs> we hope she finds a man herself. I so can. <laughs> wild in this world, yo. It's funny you open up uh, Beyonce's internet; it just gets weird. Um, Beyonce's internet. Nah, that's what we're calling that it. That belongs to the <laughs> devil. <laughs> Unless you calling that the devil, she ain't nothing but employee. Oh, oh. A half of which dumbass bitch. It's just sad seeing Diddy get away with all that. <laughs> so. You know, it, it's funny that it's it's crazy you say these Why things. Why don't nobody want to accept that that bitch bitch? I think she's she went and killed the girl cats. <sighs> <sighs> okay. A girl went to court <clears throat> and charged her with extreme witchcraft. <clears throat> she she was hypnotized. She was drugged. Beyonce came and she was in there f- eating on her and shit while she was asleep. No snacking on his bitch. Killing people cats. And guess what? They wouldn't give her the restraining or they just told her to stay away from Beyonce and work for somebody else. Guess what? She's having a hard time finding work too. Which is interesting because she's a brilliant musician and she was trained at the Berkeley, esteemed Berkeley College of Music. Handpicked by my very good friend, Terry Lynn Carrington, Dr. Terry Lynn Carrington, who put together Beyonce's entire female band, which was Matthew Knowles' idea because he couldn't get Beyonce to stop people. Guess you didn't know your daughter well enough because she just started all the girls. Impulse control issues? I don't know. What makes you so vocal? Like, I'm tired. So you just, I like, didn't want to skip to the end. Yeah, all this shit is fucked up. All you is a weird. Go to fuck the jail and let's move on and let Generation Z make their own problems, make their own choices. These kids are living the consequences of what Gen X did and don't even know why they're doing it because everyone's lying. So corporate th- takeoff's death was nothing but a corporate hostile takeover using his life as the god. For, oh my god! Man, RP takeoff. <sighs> that boy died so they could cash in a multi insurance policy and to cover up the fact that Rock Nation was ripping Megan away from 300. I guess nobody's paying attention to the fact. That complete control of Megan the Stallion's career was taken over right after Takeoff died and the Prince family were forced to leverage and let her go, even though they did not want to. Well, that interesting. He's the politics. <laughs> let me ask you because. Uh, and I'm not saying allegedly. Oh. I'm saying, Sean Carter, you're a piece of shit. Taking Pimp C wasn't bad enough. You just want to go down there and you want to just remove all of the balls from every real gangster in Houston. Why the fuck did that house burn up? Who the fuck goes to their childhood house for a visit and the shit goes up in flames? That was very weird. The next day, and, and within the, a week? And the, no, the next day. The next day. And, and still, no real investigation on how the house just went up in flames. Man. I guess they paid y'all off. Like they paid y'all off for that astral world. So... Let me hmm. ask you. Texas um, politics. Yeah, Texas politics, man. This is, <sighs> yeah, this is. When you drive into Houston yeah. and old fucking Sam Houston sitting there, you can hear him talking. Every time I drive past Sam Houston on 45, you know what I hear when I see him? That's all I hear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the warden of the South. Yeah. Sitting there looking down on everybody. 
<laughs> they made a big deal over Robert E. Lee. Imagine what they would do if you tried to take down old Sam Houston. Come on now. It'd be a problem. It'd be, it'd be carnage. <laughs> yeah, it'd be a problem. <laughs> Sam Houston there, you gonna stay there. So Jack, another- Every time I drive past, that's all I hear. Just Nick. <laughs> Now, another thing that, of course, he spoke on last time was, and at the time it happened, uh, was a slap by Will Smith to Chris Rock. We spoke uh, on it. So if you thought the best days were behind us, get ready to be proven wrong. The comeback is real, and it's going to blow everyone away. Stay tuned. This is just the beginning. Written a book. Mm-hmm. Where she reveals that multiple times she tried to commit suicide. Yeah. Not saying exactly what the reason was. I don't but know why she keeps trying. She just, just get it done. Oh. Don't be bad at everything. Shit. Yeah. You was an all right actress. You a terrible wife. You was a bad mother. Oh. He's a it. character who knew that your husband was doing things to boys and did stuff to your son and you ain't do shit about it. But Lyle told me everything. Mm. Uh. Their 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 good friend who Bilal told me yeah, Jay He told me that you knew Will was in your chair. Yes he did. Wonder why he left that out of his Tosh K interview. Yeah. Yeah, like, in that interview he, he said a lot. He said a lot. He said everything but something that was important. That he know that Will Smith raped Jaden. He raped Bashir and he raped Neek Mills. And you know it, Bilal. Now I'm getting no f- how far in the desert you run. You'll go from a Philly n- to a sand, but they'll still get you. He's Philly though, Jay. It's Philly. He, no f- <laughs> he meek milk. <laughs> As far as I'm concerned, he meek milk. I ain't calling him milk no more. That's milk. That's meek milk. Add it to the honeycomb. You got a you got a meal. So you believe the Dwayne Martin story that that could happen? Of course, happened. everybody know that. Shit. Everybody knew they was and just ain't nobody know Dwayne was folding him over like that, taking him to Panatown. And all these black is running around marrying these sitting there convincing other women to go chase a fag. Go get you. Look at my it isn't he? Can you imagine if he's told the truth about their relationships? I want you to meet my husband. He a fag. <laughs> Would you like to come over? <laughs> I'll make cookies. <laughs> now, Jack, you know. Uh, That's what these <laughs> do. <doing. laughs> hey, young man. Come on over. My husband just wants to touch you for a little while on camera. I promise you, you won't feel a thing. Sniff this. <laughs> okay. So, I, 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 really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you stand on red carpets with the and you sell an image of lies. Then you influence the public and ask the public to covet and want your life. Who wants? Who wants that? Who jealous of that? A bunch of whack too afraid to find a real man in real love. So you marry a get for a Birkin bag and then turn your head while he f***ing a bunch of kids. I don't feel sorry for none of you, bitch. Don't y'all sit around writing your books, telling your sob stories. He was a f- going in. You should have known he was going to be a f- You married that And 
and made babies with it. Look at Nicki Minaj. You got bitch and marry and level three sex and just. And, 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 and do you know since then, she done moved out. Will Smith can't divorce her because he can't afford it. She don't live at the house they was living at no more. Kenneth there by herself. She literally got him a zoo. And she fills it with sex who don't mind rough sex. And she lives in another house with the baby. But he's supposed to be the primary custodian, which is why he ain't in jail where he's supposed to be because he got to take care of the baby. But the only thing he's taking care of is making new victims. Who watching Papa Bear? I thought that's why he was here. Speaking of missing children, Tasha K, where are your kids? Because word on the street is you ain't got time to raise children. We already know that girl is Sheck, baby. You ain't had that child in quite some time. And you sent little Teddy to Africa mm. with your husband, people. What? You a married woman and you ain't got time to raise your kids? But you want to talk about mine all day, huh? Mm. That boy is under 10 years old being raised by Africans that you don't really know. For all you know, that little boy is playing in a pile of monkey sh right now. You don't know. Wrestling with rhino shit. You know. Where your kids, bitch? You busy running around trying to blackmail Kevin Hart for cheating on his wife when we all know he likes penis? Maybe you would have got that 250 if you would have told the truth. But you want to hold him to the fire over some sh No, ain't real. That sh ain't real. His guy mail order Bangkok bride. While he's looking so safe, laying in the rock's arms, being cradled like a baby. You mean? Okay, um, you... You want to expose that he cheated on his wife with a man that would have sold. I get no fuck about no fake... Mm. Tell us the real... You supposed to be Tasha K. You supposed to have all the, the wine. And the wine and the wine. Tell him he's a f***ing bitch. Oh, uh. So... so uh I'm gonna need to smoke. Yeah. I gotta take my meds. Yeah, hold on, wait, wait, wait. I, I gotta ask you, Jag, real quick. 33% THC. That's oh, yeah. my that's my medicine. Uh, uh, we, we're gonna take a we're gonna take a little break. Oh, but okay. hold on, wait, wait, real quick, real quick. I have to ask because you mentioned sex workers. Yeah. And that word is getting thrown around a lot lately. And um we see that 50 Cent is going at Diddy because his baby mother, I believe Daphne, uh, is oh, well. listed in a lawsuit as a sex worker for Diddy. She'll hook up. Diddy bop. Oh, man. She was a Diddy bop first. He just didn't know that. Oh. <laughs> oh. Dude, are the circles you that small? You must feel stupid as shit, Curtis. He sent bitch right to you. Hmm. Oh, she didn't send the herpes. He ain't bringing it, you know. <laughs> I hope that didn't go with That would explain why you would be a little salty, though, you know. Maybe you'll be posting on them outbreak days. I don't know, allegedly. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but the post was funny as I've been reposting. Fiddy been on a tear. Fiddy been on a tear. You yeah. know? He has reason. He has Diaper reason. rash will make cranky. <laughs> oh, them. One more question before we take this yeah. break. Um, can you name some people in the Hollywood or the industry that are oh. that are upstanding that you'd be like, there's no smut on their name. They were just good people. Yeah. Can you just give us a couple people? I have. Terry Lynn Carrington. Okay. 
my very good friend who's worked with Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis for many years, Don Clemens. And trust me, you won't believe what happens next. The Baylors, Gene and Marcus Baylor, Gene from Jeanne. Mm -hmm. There are lots of people. I just don't like talking about them all the time. My girlfriend, Natalie Stewart in London, right. her and her husband Maddox, exemplary artists and people. I mean, I, I could give you a list, but you know what happens when I start talking about them? People start stalking them and hounding them right. and pressuring them, which is why my online life and my real life Want to know what happens when that doesn't happen? When I don't protect people? My girlfriend gets called and said that I need to, she need to keep me away from her family because I, I'm, a, I'm marked for death and I'm gonna get her family killed. And I'm a piece of I used to f husband while I was living at her house, even though I don't know the never met the bitch. Or the guy that I'm dating, his entire criminal record and prison record gets put up and I didn't know nothing about it because these net trolls are that relentless. Best example, the last time I was here, you asked me about artists to watch out for. Correct. And there was one that I mentioned that I, uh, I kind of downplayed. Church is... Oh, she said, don't give it too much. That's, uh, what's the name? Um, uh, Jay French. Jay French. My Church. gosh. My the God. mixtape. That's out now. It debuted a month ago. Number two on the iTunes rap charts worldwide. Only beaten by Kanye West. Independent. Come on now. Come on now. Let's go, Jay French, man. If you don't know, y'all ain't on gang. Which brings me to my next question real yeah. quick before we... Uh, 50 years of hip hop. Do you feel that it was done justice as far as uh, no, the acknowledgement near of the 50 years. It. Nowhere near it. When you look at the redacted list of greatness in hip hop, people should have been acknowledged for what they were at the time they passed on the list. Mm. Honestly, everyone that passed is the list. Come on, man. Uh, Big L. The list. <laughs> Come on. Tori's Tupac. Tupac. The list. Biggie Smalls. The list. Yeah. Take Off. <laughs> the list. No. Pop Smoke. The list. Man. King Von. The list. Oof. Like. No, no, you, the, 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 these greats, yeah, Mo three, the, the, these greats. You can pick twenty of the last mother died in the last twenty years, and that's the best of hip hop. Gone. Think about it. Think about it. That's funny. Lion mother. <laughs> and if you remember, before I started being arrested and stuck in the net and stuck in my ass with how doll and. Sh Dalladelphia's main aim was to expose the actual true list. Very true. For the 50th anniversary. Without question. And yet, my company was torpedoed and footage scattered, gone to the wind. I'm jailed, hospitalized, and people trying to get me to say that I'm schizophrenic. Say right there. We're gonna we're gonna talk about the episode, but for right now, I just got to get your take on when we see a killer Mike win three Grammys and get arrested immediately after because Jay Z paid somebody to up just so he couldn't have a good night. You Sean. Hey man, weirdo. Oof. I don't get no what you got in your head that neural link. 
You'll never outthink me. Ever. All I do is frustrate you in AI. You can't quantify me. You can't even control your wife. You gonna handle a bitch like me. You can't even control that goofy bitch. You should have did a better job. Maybe she wouldn't have had to lose her mind on Kathy. Cause you ain't protecting you. You're protecting her. Wonder why? No doubt. Listen, bro. Just doing law enforcement myself, just take for instance. I think the, the, the individual was a Syracuse former basketball player, player named Jason Barnes or Beard or something like that. He already had drug charges against him. The day Diddy house get raided, they catch him getting on a plane and they put him into custody. Didn't that sound a little weird? People didn't catch that. They either put him in custody for a, f a, couple, of, a couple of reasons. You understand? One, to make a witness out of him or to safeguard him and protect him for anything that could happen to him because they had already stated, allegedly, that he was some kind of mule for the people over there at Diddy's house. So now, with that information, that he was already known by the government for drug charges, wouldn't that be an individual that you use? I'm going to give you something Absolutely. different. And I'm going to give you something else that people don't even think. On the other day, I seen on the video that Puff had ran into Justin Beaver. They met up. And he started tapping him as if he was searching him. And see if he had some kind of device on. Did you see that? Yep. Check this out. What if the federal government have already talked to Justin Beaver? And Diddy did that on tape. That means in his mind, he think this person may be a witness. Right? Yep. What he has just done that is against the law. Nothing that we've seen. Tampering with a federal witness. If they have already talked to Justin Beaver prior to him doing that, he goes and look like he's searching him. It appears that he's asking Justin Beaver, yo, you got a wire on something like that? Like, You're tampering with a federal witness. That's a charge right there that can land them in jail. Reckless. That was real reckless. Man, it's going to be uh, kind of crazy to see everything unfold, man. Well, if worse comes to worse and Diddy has to do some time, how do you think he's going to handle it? Usually individuals acclimate themselves into situations and they do the best that they can do. I just don't think him being a free spirit and off drugs, once he gets into that situation, that he'll handle it that well. I could be wrong. A lot of people believe he's going to end himself. Well, I heard him say that before when that city college incident happened. 
He was talking like that back then. Cause he thought it was a possibility that he would be going to jail. He lost his job at Uptown. So he done a lot of things, been a lot of places. I don't think he has the spirit of it's the dead look. And I know that for a fact. I got the scars to prove it. <laughs> so there's been so many people on the internet trying to figure out where you are. They're watching you. They're you know, they're doing all types of stuff trying to figure you out. You want to know what a box cutter feels like going into your skin and ripping you? I can tell you how it feels. Y'all ain't seen shit yet. That Cassie shit, that's nothing. So are you, are you, are you trying to say like Jay-Z put hands on you? I'm saying Sean Carter remembers everything he did to me and he's got it on too. Just like Diddy. <laughs> Isn't it going to be crazy? It's gonna be the women that get them in the end. So you say that, um, that Jay-Z- Fuck Jay-Z! And I think it's time for him to start speaking up about his very good friend. Just nine months ago, you were singing his praises all that he's done for the culture and how you gotta be crazy like Diddy to make it. Then you didn't want to sit next to him at the Grammys. Uh. Told everybody that he had cooties. And canceled the Rock Nation brunch, which is your favorite event. Because that's how you line up who you're going to use around me. Like y'all did with Clarence Abram. Come, come get you. And I told you I would. And I'm going to keep my word. And you're going to pay me in full. I got your boy Diddy by the nuts. How long you think before I'll have yours right here in mine? What, what would it take for Jay-Z to go down like Diddy did? I don't know, but I got an idea that Evan Rogers is gonna help me figure that out. And who is Evan? Evan was the producer who only seemed to work on teeny bopper projects, who discovered Rihanna at 3 a.m. in the morning in a hotel room on the island where she comes from with no parental supervision. And then she was put on a private plane, a minor from one country to another without parental supervision. And she ended up in a boardroom with Mr. Carter without parental supervision. <laughs> Y'all got young children, would you just let your daughter leave and go to a whole other country with some motherfucking niggas you don't know? Absolutely not. Doing talent shows at 3 a.m. 
So you're saying that the rumors are true. There are rumors uh, circulating that Rihanna was actually trafficked here. Are you saying that that's- Starting to sound that way. Cause a daddy ain't show up till 24 hours later to pick up a half a million dollar check for his daughter's ass. Maybe we should look more into that album, Auntie. That album cover was disturbing. A child bride with a crown over her head and blood smeared on her face. I don't know. <laughs> How don't people see SOSs anymore? <laughs> I mean, maybe I'm just crazy. So do you think that there will ever be a space or a time where Rihanna may come forward and express some of her experiences? I don't know, but I'm working. <laughs> I'm working around the clock. She didn't look comfortable pregnant, throwing up that goddamn diamond sign to her. Super Bowl word has it. She didn't want to do it at all. She just had no choice. And then she was forced to step down from her billion dollar company so she could be alone. I guess that's what happens when your pimp put up all the money in the first place. Do you think that's also the reason why the album situation is what it is, where she's not dropping any music? I mean, if I was her, I wouldn't. More music means more indebted. More music means more money laundering. More music means she stays a shell corporation and not a human being. You wanna know what's funny? The only difference between Inga Marshawn and Rihanna is that one was international, the other one was right next door. Both about 14, both tender, both damn near versions, both mitterated by Sean Carter. I don't know. I wonder how Rihanna's feeling about being replaced by Blue Ivy. So are you mm -hmm. alleging that Jay-Z is grooming his own daughter? Well, I mean, it wouldn't be so hard to do. That ain't his baby, allegedly. That's Tata baby, allegedly. Be really easy to groom somebody else's kid. Look at Justin. <laughs> Look at Quincy. These niggas always like playing with other people's kids. Like, sorry, I just lost my light. Motion sensor. I guess I was still too long. <laughs> So you said that Blue Ivy is not Jay-Z. So can you explain who Tata might be? Who is that? Oh, that's his number one goal, his menu. Tata Smith, nigga mm -hmm. from Philly. His spy, a man who had a very unpleasant conversation with Blue Cantrell once upon a And do you and so you're saying allegedly alleging that Jay Z is aware that Blue Ivy was belongs to this man? Yeah, I'm saying oh. he's very aware of it. He puts his seed in everybody else. I just told you that. So I don't know who the father of them twins is? They look a little strange. Like they was half baked. I don't know. You know, they all like playing Dr. Frankenstein with their genetics. So answer, answer me this. Why do you think at this very moment, or what's your explanation as to why Jay-Z 
is doing this to Diddy now? Is it to keep his name out there? Crab. He can't stand Diddy. Diddy is the that's why he likes assuming other people's lives. He wears them until he outgrows them and then he finds another. Persona crawls into that. I wish somebody would just take him back to Marcy for a visit and drop him. That would be an interesting homecoming and who I'm going. He's the shame of Brooklyn. Real life. So what do you have to say about this comment down your thoughts right now? And make sure to give this video a like and also subscribe to the channel to stay updated in future. Until then, keep exploring.